Hi, Joe Alexander over at Park Regency Realty. I'm really excited this morning to be with William and Leticia Mir and their newest addition to their team, their son, Brian. Good morning and welcome to all of you. Morning. 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 So real quick, William and Letty have been with the organization for over 17 years. Uh, what really impresses me, not only they're one of our, our, our top agents and top teams, they're very, very dear friends. They're always in the top five, ten of the organization. In fact, we just completed their uh, top ten interview a few days ago, got some great value out of it. What's really exciting this time is uh, that their son, Brian, who worked for the Department of Defense, an engineer, decided to come in the real estate business. So I'm going to put you on the spot first. Sure and direct the first question to you. So you work for the Fed, the federal government, Department Correct. of Defense, yep. an engineer. How yep. many years did you do it for? Five years, about. Five years, so you decided to come into real estate. Yeah. Tell, tell us why. Well, um, I think a lot has to do with the fact that I grew up around real estate. Um, as a little kid, I used to come here uh, during my summer breaks and, and help uh, my parents out uh, with some of the work, and I just, uh, I just got a knack for it, so. I mean, initially I wanted to try something for myself, do something my own way, and that's when I chose engineering. I've always been good with numbers. Uh, but in the end, uh, it turned out that it, it didn't wasn't really my true passion. And right. I think the most important thing is to find something that I love doing. And I knew real estate would be a good choice for me. I don't mean to embarrass you, but I've known Brian since he's been 10 years old, and it's so interesting to watch the families grow up and stuff and to see him be such a great asset to the team. So, Willie and Letty, you guys are always top producers. You've always been in the top five, top ten. Uh, number one, how do you do it year after year? Let's face it, we came off 2008, 2009 was a real right. grind, yeah. right? Right. How do you do it year in and year out? I think, Joe, the main thing has always helped us is to maintain a positive uh, mindset. Uh, despite what the market does, we, we need to maintain a positive attitude. And uh, I think largely our success is due to the ongoing training that is provided here in the office. And that's vitally important to keep the mind always fed. You know, this business is interesting. Uh, you're right. It's a mindset business. We have to have a great attitude. But I, I will tell you, I think you're being very modest because I notice you guys, month in and month out, you are marketing yourselves like crazy. You work farm areas. Uh, God bless you, lady. You're out there knocking doors all the time and stuff. You guys mail a lot. And I know it's hard for those slow months sometimes when the money isn't coming in that you still write that check for $500 to $1,000, $1,200, and you're always willing to invest in your business. Obviously, it's paid off, but that helps with that mindset, doesn't it, knowing that it's going to come back? Absolutely. There is no excuse not to market ourselves. If, if, the, if the market is good, if the market is weak or strong, we never stop marketing. And yes, it does uh, uh, take a bit of our, our our income, but we gladly do that because we know it's effective. So overall it pays off. Very much, yes. Yeah. Well, you look, I just want to congratulate all of you. I want to welcome you, Brian. We're Thank excited you. to have you. I know you're going to be a great asset to this organization and to your mom and dad. I know they're proud of you. Uh, I'm certainly proud of you, and we welcome you. And I just want to thank you guys for your success and your loyalty, and I wish you many more, many more years of success and happiness. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Brian.